Hi kid, like and subscribe if you don't mind. I agree, it does not look like a fair fight. Hey kid, okay, what is this about a fight? Well, Red the Rooster is upset because he says that his cousin Edna does not stand a chance versus a T-Rex. Well, first of all, Edna was the very first chicken, so I'm thinking that this is a very distant relative random rooster. <laughs> Secondly, why are you underestimating your cousin Edna? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> because if Edna was the very first chicken and Edna had to face off in a battle of Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Edna, I'm thinking that if Edna had lost, there would be no chickens to this day. You follow me? <gasps> you have to admit, she makes a good point. <laughs> Yes, we shall see. Uh, also, does Red the Rooster not know that chickens are descended from dinosaurs? Yeah, I don't think he knows, Doug the Dinosaur. But <laughs> we know. And if you didn't know, kid, now you do. Let's go. Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Edna, the very first chicken. What a reception to planet Earth, if that's what you mean, right? And, you know... Honestly, it does seem like a Tyrannosaurus Rex versus a mere chicken would not be a fair matchup, but throughout history, there are examples of brains beating bronze. So, let's see. Tyrannosaurus Rex stomped through the forest. He roared, roar! He gnashed, gnashed! He cried! I am Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I want breakfast. Hey, buddy, my name's not breakfast. Run! He looks hungry. I'm out of here. Triceratops heard him and ran away as fast as she could. Run! She cried to Ankylosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Rex is coming! And then Ankylosaurus ran too. Scram! She shouted to Parasaurolophus. Easy for you to say. Parasaurolophus. Tyrannosaurus is looking for breakfast. Oh, I'm out of here. I don't want to be breakfast. Run, 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 run. They all ran past Edna, the very first chicken. What's up? She asked. Get out of here, you strange looking little whatever you are, Parasaurolophus said. At least Chicken has a much shorter name, Parasaurolophus. Or, or, or Tyrannosaurus will eat you right up. But Edna didn't run. She just stayed right where she was, pecking her seeds for breakfast. Is Edna crazy? Or is she courageous? Honestly, sometimes it's hard to tell those two apart. When Tyrannosaurus saw Edna, he roared! He's a very big roarer, you'll see. I am Tyrannosaurus, lord of the forest. Beware my mighty claws and terrible jaws. I am Edna the chicken said Edna. Beware my mighty beak and terrible flapping wings. Tyrannosaurus roared again. He's a big roarer. Beware my deadly stomp and long sharp teeth. Beware my pointy claws and many feathers, said Edna. And look at that face. Sassy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a very close encounter. I am big and fierce, and you should be afraid of me, Tyrannosaurus said. I am small and brave, and you should be afraid of me, Edna told him. And honestly, at this point, I'm a little afraid of the two of them. Fight, 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 fight. Tyrannosaurus gobbled her up in one bite. <gasps> No! Bah! No! Bah! Wait, 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 wait! You too! Look 
the other page. Oh, 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 I see. She's in one piece. One entire chicken piece. Burp, 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 burp. No, not in any chicken nugget form. Burp, 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 burp. I know. Yes, hope is alive. It was dark in Tyrannosaurus's mouth. It smelled terrible. Because everyone knows that T-Rexes never gargle or use toothbrushes. Edna grabbed Tyrannosaurus's tongue with her pointy claws. What is she up to? Tyrannosaurus roared a new roar. Oh, it oh, 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 your ong. Did you get that? I didn't either. What was that? It oh, oh, your ong. I, I'm sorry. I don't understand you, T-Rex. And Edna hung on tight with that look of determination. Edna started to peck. Ew! Screamed Tyrannosaurus. Ed, ow, oh, ew, oh. I am sorry. I can, you, this is why you can't speak with your mouth full. Edna flapped her wings till her feathers flew. And look at that, they are literally flying out of his mouth and out of my hair. I'm sorry, what? Gasped Tyrannosaurus. Snorch! Wow, that was an impactful sneeze. That sneeze blew Edna out of his mouth, soaring across the forest, Yee! poof, and straight into a giant redwood. And then Tyrannosaurus tried to roar, but <coughs> feathers came out. And then Tyrannosaurus tried again, because again, T-Rex is a committed roarer. But what happened? I am a hot sauce X, he said. I, do you? Because I don't. Not a word. I am in a horse. Sure you are, buddy. Edna ruffled her feathers, and she flapped her wings, and she stretched out her neck and clucked her loudest cluck. Sassy. Tyrannosaurus turned and <gasps> ran. Edna flapped down to the ground and chased him. It's a total role reversal, folks. We've never seen anything like this in all of prehistory. They ran through the trees and over the flowers, cracking all the trees as they go. They ran across streams and up hills, kicking up water everywhere. And every dinosaur in the forest saw them. Oh my goodness, are you seeing this? I can't take my eyes off of this train wreck. Oh, who has the latest iPhone? I need to record this. They haven't invented the iPhones yet, Marge. Oh, bummer. Have they invented the internet yet so we could go viral? Nope, no internet either. I guess we'll just have to remember this moment. And that's how it was in prehistoric times. Finally, Tyrannosaurus ran right out of the forest in shame and out of sight. And he didn't get breakfast that day. Burp, 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 and stay out. You tell him, Edna. Thank you, Parasaurolophus said. Why are those dinosaur names so long? And Triceratops and Ankylosaurus said thank you too. You are awesome. You're welcome, said Edna. After that, Edna protected the other dinosaurs and Tyrannosaurus, well, he never came back. Bark, 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 bark. And all the plant eaters are living in peace, which is why today there are no Tyrannosaurus rexes, but plenty of bark, 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 chickens. Now, according to the author's note that he left at the back of the book for us, it says here that there were no fights between Tyrannosauruses and chickens, but birds and dinosaurs did live during the same time period. But there were no iPhones and no video cameras and no internet to upload the video. So did a fight happen and there was no one there to record it? We may never know. Whoa, so I just learned that I am half 
dino, half dragon, and now a little bit chicken. Oh, yes, I would love to go to the family reunion with you. So now Random Rooster has learned that he's a descendant of the dinosaurs, and we have all learned never to underestimate the power of a chicken.